Oh, the greens, man. Oh my god, I just put so many different forms of bacteria in my mouth. That was disgusting. Uh, I'm dumb. I'll admit that, guys. I'm dumb and I'm lazy. True story. This happened to me recently. Uh, Way to be a stereotype. <laughs> I'm dumb and I'm lazy. I'm dumb and I'm lazy and I get women pregnant. What's up? <laughs> Is that uh, your first pregnancy? My first, yeah, oh yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, oh yeah. That Talk means back. you're not that potent. No, I'm pretty potent. You got one person pregnant. Yeah, that's because I fucking pull out. Oh, okay. Yeah, Adrian, duh. You said you're lazy. I just figured you'd finish it, everybody. <laughs> I just collapsed inside. Now it's your thinking. problem. <laughs> Deal with that. I don't work bitch. on the book, so try garnishing my wages. <laughs> now you're just getting way too real. <laughs> We are videotaping, Adrian. Relax. Do you know what garnered means? No. Uh, All right, let's uh, let's bring up your last pair because I'm I'm fucking this this I'm very excited about these guys. I really am, guys. I've been saying that all night. I hate everyone else that was on the show. <laughs> everyone else can suck a dick. These are the two that I'm legitimately excited about. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, clap it up as loud as you can for Big J Okerson and the one and only Ron Bennington. <laughs> Mostly about you. <laughs> no, all these people have CISO. <laughs> <laughs> More likely, everyone here's got CISO. Yeah. I get it right now on my uh, toaster. It's fucking fantastic. You know, I looked uh, up the app today for CISO. I'm like, is there an app? I should get the app to watch it. And the app has the worst reviews. Yeah. It's like, this thing doesn't work and the shows blow. They put it all on iTunes. It's all bad reviews. How do you watch this junk anyway? Yeah, you were actually looking at the reviews like when you're walking around to buy a new car. Oh, fuck. I'm not getting anything today. This thing's all shit. Hey, you know what? It's a little stuffy. Can somebody roll down a window here? Or something? Have you picked up on that? This is like literally where we're going to come when ISIS hits. This will be the only safe fucking room in New York. The only very flammable fallout shelter as we're surrounded by wood. It's beautiful though. Oh shit, to be here at the stand? Forget about it. To be on this stage a, a full six inches above the audience. I feel like a god up here. That's how you knew you're a star. When you're fucking, when their eyes are right in your belly button. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's your belly button. They're looking at me at the neck. I think we're too touchable. This is how danger happens. Well, this is beautiful. It's and seriously, the CISO thing is amazing. Thank and plus. You. Jay's got this special coming out on Comedy Central that's Woo! unbelievable. Yeah, you came to. Yeah. You made an appearance, which was so awesome. Yeah. I was worried about you like you were my dad who didn't love me. <laughs> I was like, is he comfortable? Is he having a good time? Did he laugh? Did he smile? Don't think about me that way. Just think of me as another guy who doesn't love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, people <laughs> I really feel sorry for Jay. Every fucking day. You know my dad wasn't there. Yes, I know it. You say it constantly. Of course, step pop doesn't get enough credit. That's the problem. Your stepdad, that's the one with the big penis. Yeah. He's the big dick guy. Yeah. You know, my dad uh, My dad actually came to my special, which is funny, and I was so excited to tell that all the my dad has a little dick jokes. <laughs> And he just started embracing that completely. And like, so at the end of the night, he was just sort of drunk and he was like, Hey, I'm his little dick dad. <laughs> just trying to score young pussy. He's such a hunk of shit. He, I, I saw that he went into the men's room and like 18 guys just took off him. <laughs> gotta see if it's that little. <laughs> you gotta see what 
what size it is. You know, it's funny. My mom still has all that resentment, I'm sure, in her heart towards my dad. And what's funny is my dad was just like attached to my hip for like those two days. He was just up my sure. ass and tail. Yeah, it's good times now. But what's funny was, so he came in the dressing room with me earlier in the night, and my mom tried to get in the dressing room later, and some lady guard in the dressing room just goes, only his father's allowed uh, there. Uh, my mom would have scratch your face off. Yeah. <laughs> She's still a wily Jew broad. <laughs> 58, it's not too old. She can still scrap. Philly 58? Uh, yeah, Philly 58 is like... Well, she's probably got two more ounces of angel dust to go. <laughs> she sells it on the back of Arita's water ice. It's, yeah. it's the only city in America where death by angel dust is the number one killer. You know what's, I, I, it's funny, I didn't tell you this. I was telling you outside the story of I did a, a show, I did a benefit this weekend for my uh, high school crush for her dance school or some horse shit. I don't know. I really just wanted her to want to fuck me, but she didn't. She was fat, but still I wanted her to. And she didn't. I was, and it was a very Philly audience. And there was a guy with slick back, uh, gray hair, wearing a, like a leather members only jacket. And I forget his name, but I was like, what's your deal, dude? And he just yells out. He was very loud. He goes, I'm celebrating 12 years of sobriety. I go, wow, cool, man. I go, what was your poison? And you expect when you ask somebody who says I'm celebrating 12 years of sobriety or any years of sobriety, it's going to be somewhere between booze and coke. And he literally goes out. He goes, angel dust. <laughs> angel dust. Yeah. you got to get sober from angel dust. That's like a, a recurring thing. That's PCP, right? Yes, it is. And it's, psycholo it's, it's psychologically addictive for people who want to get stupid over and over and over. And in Philly they have what's called black dust or black tar dust where it's heroin mixed with angel dust. And it's like their version of a Reese's cup. <laughs> it's just some weird accident that worked out for everybody. They had a name it? We gotta name this. <laughs> Angel dust with heroin? You got heroin in my angel dust. <laughs> Try it, bro. Let's all go hit a Wawa. That's fine eating now. <laughs> That's foot off you fine eating. Yeah. That is, a, yeah, an angel dust problem, which I didn't even know was like... The only time I've ever heard angel dust was in the movie Trading Places. <laughs> is that right? That was what they planted on Dan Aykroyd, it was yeah. angel dust. <laughs> I, I don't uh, know, is that a real Philly problem? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that town needs some industry no. or something. Well, they do have the meth labs. So. <laughs> but I remember once, this is, and I'm going to date myself here, uh, I went to a fucking Emerson Lake and Palmer concert. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dusted out of my mind, right? And then I went home that night, and my mom was still up, and she said, how was the show? And I go, Mom, I was walking around backstage, and there were really, like, people in lab coats, and they were creating the music. <laughs> and everybody was fucking believing the puppets. <laughs> so, <laughs> and it made total sense to me. And then I get up in the morning for school, and my dad's like, what the fuck were you saying? <laughs> There's people in lab coats behind the show, and I'm like, I don't have time for this, Dad. I got to... How old were you? I was like 14 or 15. Wow! Angel dust at 14, 15? Oh, yes. You went hard. Well, you know, I'd already got my brain straightened out, so we're not fuck with it a little bit. Everybody in that town basically goes from like a fucking playground to a meth lab within like days. It's just, it is it's, quick. Yeah, it is, and it's puberty. That's fucking puberty. It is quick. It really does. They're drinking there like 13, yeah, like 12. People start smoking cigarettes at 10 and shit. I was a nerd kid, I guess. I never did no. PCP. No, you? No. <laughs> it's hard to believe, I know. And I camped out for those Emerson Lake and Palmer tickets. Is that Simple Man? Who's the Emerson Lake and Palmer song? Simple Man? No, not, not Skinner's version. Lucky Man. What a lucky man he was. Is that Emerson Lake and Palmer? Okay, Jano's the hit. <laughs> yeah. Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, do they go deep tracks? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> it was a giant band at one time. 
Well, I guess you have to be on angel dust to get the catalog. <laughs> you gotta meet an artist halfway, my friend. <laughs> You don't leave them out there alone. I was more about drinking, uh, you know, Coke Zeros and fucking listening to goddamn Guns N' Roses or whatever. Do you, know, do you believe Axl Rose is going to be an ACDC? Yes, I do. Do you think it's going to be good of any sort? No, no, no. I think he's going to do it because it makes no sense at all. That's it. One band, everybody wants them to be in. Another band, no one wants them to be in. What's Axel gonna do? Do you think they're gonna lose a bunch of ticket sales, or are people gonna go, like, I gotta see this shit fall apart? Yeah, I wanna fucking go. <laughs> I just what yell Axel? out, this doesn't sound the same! <laughs> it's different! <laughs> Where's that other guy? <laughs> Good lord. They're not going to make it for the whole tour. I know Guns oh, and Roses doesn't make it for the whole do. tour. Yeah, fucking three, two, three fucking songs in every night, Axel dives into the audience and starts kicking people. <laughs> you calling me a homo homo? Literally, fucking Axel could actually play Cat Williams in the movie. <laughs> He's the white Cat Williams. Yeah. <laughs> Statements like this don't sound far-fetched. Hey, did you hear Axl Rose got into a fight with a seventh grader? That would make sense. You'd be like, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Did you watch that whole video yet? Fuck yeah. Did you watch the new angle? That's the whole fight. He was playing soccer with him first. Sure. He you don't was. know about this at all? I haven't seen the whole thing. Yeah, you know, Cat Williams is. You know he's losing his goddamn mind. Don't ruin it for him, Jack. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Cat Williams has been dead since 2015. <laughs> Seriously, Cat Williams on a fucking soccer field is better than everybody else's comedy fucking special. It doesn't even come close. You're like, this is the greatest fucking art I've ever seen. And the fact, it's not, it would have been like bad if he would have beat up the seventh grader. But getting his ass kicked, that's fucking genius. I like this cool guy. Did you hear the thing said afterwards? He goes, back up on me, little boy. <laughs> And then he goes, uh, and he goes, he goes, there's a problem with you kids now. You're letting a broke-ass kid beat up a rich celebrity. Yeah, he put the blame exactly where it belonged on everyone else. How does he have so much beef and nobody attacks his relaxed hair? No one says a word about it. He looks like fucking midget. Like, he looks like a trophy of Cab Calloway. <laughs> Shouldn't have read the room for the reference. You know, you know what's bad is I had to die with you. <laughs> hey, no, we're fucking going down. Hands up! Did a party though? Go, Cap Calloway. No. Howdy, 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 howdy. Now everyone sort of gets it, but yeah. still. Oh, the howdy, 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 howdy. Yeah. It suddenly makes sense. Uh, look at Patrick, one of the uh, owners here is dressed like a fucking 1920s New York fat cat. <laughs> hey, 1%. Yeah. I just told him to hit me because I had two fours. <laughs> yeah, put the garter belt around your arm. When the show's over, he's just like... <laughs> Were you a gambler ever? Uh, you know what? Not a big gambler. That's my one addiction I didn't enjoy. I, I've never gotten into it too much, but I have recently. More as I get a little bit older, I've played blackjack. Mm -hmm. And I have watched, I've gotten to that point where I'm just close to being the guy at the table. Where it's like, oh, while well, the dealer's like rooting for you fake. You're like, yeah. oh, hopefully you get an ace here. And yeah. you get like a two. And you're like, go fuck yourself. Yeah. Go fuck your stupid Chinese family. Go fuck everyone you know. And then when they do leave, you're like, yeah, get the fuck out of here. Bring somebody else in. It's just some guy making 14 bucks. I now. know. But I'm so angry. Like, it's his fault. I want to blame him so bad. So you do gamble quite a bit. You're Not gambling. quite a bit. No. I do it on those, when I go on those cruise ships, I always gamble. Yeah, yeah. Well, what else are you going to do? Well, I listen to B-level rock stars. <laughs> That's what's on there. Who do you cruise with? 
I cruise with a uh, corn and God smack or a level, I guess. Okay, corn and God smack. Um, how uh, how long before people started leaping off this fucking? <laughs> every time there is a there's a fucking domestic every time. Yeah. A guy dragging a woman downstairs by her hair happens every time. Uh, there's always somebody who jumps off the fucking boat. And by the way, you jump off a cruise ship boat, that's it. It's over. Yeah. They're not going back for you. Well, if it's you can't circle back around a cruise ship. You know what? If it's fucking corn and Godsmack, I'm diving at a shark. <laughs> <Help! Really quick. laughs> shark, get me to dry land. Or whatever it is you're going to do. Just end this. <laughs> I've seen some, uh, it has been some weird, weird things in those boats. See, there's always like uh, B level performers. Um, people get really fucking... You ever been on a cruise ship before? Yeah, I've been on a cruise ship, but not with metal people. <laughs> but it's almost better with metal. There's something to go do, right? One guy, uh... I remember they arrested him. He was the front of the stage. They arrested him for getting into a fist fight. He asked it before they take him to the... There's cells on the boat. Yeah. They go, before the cell, can we... He goes, can I go to my room to just get some of my stuff? And they go, yeah. He went into his room. He climbed out the balcony. That's on a cruise ship. And fucking around to the next place, went in their sliding glass doors, left, and they they fucking lost the guys who were waiting for him. And they found him an hour later, where? Right back in the front of the stage. <laughs> and when they caught him, he was like, uh, they, he was like, all right, you got me. I, just want, to, I want to see the end of the tendencies, man. It, it's time to pitch that to the new love boat. <laughs> yeah. The metal boat. <laughs> Watch as Isaac gets called a nigger 15 times. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> That. We just sealed our serious XM fate. I have a day job. I didn't tweet it. <laughs> but here's the thing. All these cocksuckers will. <laughs> Every single one of them. And the them. shit runs downhill. Yeah. Ronnie, thank you so much for doing this with me, man. What well, a fucking amazing experience. Well, you know, I, I haven't done... Uh, I haven't been on a stage like this since the 90s, quite frankly. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. And I think the material is still fresh. <laughs> hey, did anybody think it was weird when Magic Johnson got AIDS? <laughs> huh? Wasn't that nuts? You know, I, I knew Magic. Did you really? Yeah. And uh, it was like right before the announcement. I knew something was going on. Uh, and I mean, he was a gigantic star at the time. And I remember that I, he was fucking me in the ass. <laughs> and when he threw up on my back, I'm like, we better get you to the emergency. <laughs> Thank God you double bagged it that night. Yeah. Oh, okay, like he's not still alive. <laughs> he fucking beat it, lady. <laughs> Oh my god. What's oh. with that first Gulf War? <laughs> and these kids in the Nintendo, huh? Am I right? <laughs> Fucking weirdos. <laughs> but thank you for bringing me up here today. And I, I only did it for Christine, by the way. Oh, yeah. I know. I know. I, mean, I know Christine's what makes me cool. That's good. Yeah, it is good. It is very good. I love you, man. Thank you so, so much, buddy. Thanks, everybody. Thank you so much. so much for supporting the Mashup Show. We do this here once a month, so please check it out again. Uh, they're going to start giving out your bills right now, guys. Do me a favor, hang tight at your tables. Don't try to get up and get your change from your waitress. That makes everything very confusing. So just hang tight at your table. They'll bring you your change directly to your table. And once again, thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming out, guys.